but it looks shiny so it looks like it could have kind of diamonds can you see the pattern <laughs> Oh, it's so great to see you guys. Thanks for watching. Can I ask you for a favor, if you don't mind? Can you write down, I feel terrific today in the comment section below. Help me engage with you. I want to connect with you. I want to authentically know how you're doing. And also, if you have any questions that maybe I can answer for you in a video, I would love to do that for you. So don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share and tell all of your friends about the connections that you're making. And I will see ya on the flip side. Hey guys, it's Terry. So great to see you. How's your heart today? How's that beautiful, wonderful, dynamic heart of yours? I hope it's fan-freaking-tastic. Well, guess what, you guys? Another, I don't know what you want to call this, episode or whatever. I get so excited about these, probably because I'm a Leo and I like stuff, like gifts. I love to give gifts, I love to get gifts, and I'm looking for quality, right? So some and so something doesn't have to necessarily be so expensive either, because um, you can get things really reasonably priced that are good quality, and then you can get things that are really good quality that are unreasonably priced, right? So I'm looking for practical, pragmatic, um, any kind of spiritual gift that I can give or receive for clients or giveaways or for gifts, birthdays, whatever, especially during quarantine, yes. Um, quality, good quality, um, you know, resourceful, usable, pragmatic, spiritual, metaphysical, um, wellness, sustainability, anything like that. And so oftentimes I'm gifted things, which I'm so grateful for. And then oftentimes I purchase things. And today I actually made a purchase with this, which was really cool. I wanted some spiritual jewelry. Okay. So, um, you know, spiritual jewelry is not necessarily like the most popular thing. It's not something you can just go out and go, hey, you know, I, I would like, um, you know, a Merkaba. I mean, I guess you can, I guess you can, you know, you just kind of have to look, but it's like, how do you know if it's good quality? How do you know anything, right? Which is why I like to do these product reviews to see if like, okay, is this a good purchase? Is this not a good purchase? Would I recommend this? Would I not recommend this? Please understand that these are my own personal views, my own personal experiences with these companies and these products. And I will let you know if I was gifted or if this is being sponsored. This one I actually purchased myself. I purchased this through Amazon. And again, I was looking for a spiritual piece of jewelry, like a necklace that I could wear. So really what I ended up with was a pendant, right? And what I wanted was, I wanted very something very specific, which was the Flower of Life pendant. So let me just read to you a little bit about what the Flower of Life represents. Um, it's a symbol, okay, um, and it holds uh, the sacred geometric patterns of the creation of life, okay, and it's sort of a blueprint of um, creation of the cosmos, the universe, and the fundamental pattern is of unity, okay, and I'll probably do another a video on like what is sacred geometry and some of those symbols and all of that. So this is a sacred geometry symbol called the flower of life, representing the unity, how we're all created as one from everything, from all. And um, I've really been interested in this and lately I've been kind of interested even in the law of one and how we all come from the same thing the same thing, whatever that thing was, right? This consciousness, right? And so I really wanted uh, uh, some sacred geometry just to remind me in a physical, tangible form that I am everyone and everyone is me. So um, all of the people around us are just reflections of ourselves. So whenever we are encountering anybody, we are encountering that facet, that reflection of ourself, and it's unlimited, okay? So just like how many people there are in the world, that's how many parts of yourself are reflected, right? 
So this is the fundamental pattern for from everything, from atoms to planets and everything in between. So what I did was I, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money. I love jewelry. I know a lot about jewelry. Uh, when, it, when I was younger, my dad actually taught me how to look to see what like a good quality diamond would look like. So I have an idea of like what a dirty diamond is and yada, yada, yada. But I wanted something that I could do like every day, very reasonable, very practical, pragmatic. That's the kind of person I am. Yes, I do love me some diamonds. Yes, I do love me some jewelry but I also want to be able to wear it. I don't want it to be so fancy pants and so expensive that I can't wear it. Like what good is that, right? So though I do love luxury, I also really love pragmatic stuff as well. So I wanted to get a pendant that I could wear all the time, that I could sleep in and shower in. That's how I roll. So I usually go for things like sterling silver, or I would even go for platinum gold. Um, or even white gold. I prefer uh, like silver or white gold to yellow gold, or even sometimes I do like rose gold. It, it, it's de it depends, I'm picky, I'm a Leo, I like things a certain way. <laughs> so if you're ever gonna be buying me jewelry, you should probably ask first. <laughs> I'm a Leo, what can I say? So, um, <clears throat> So along those notes, I do have a default, which is usually silver, which is typically very economical. White gold would be less economical and platinum would be even less economical. So I do, you know, prefer platinum over everything. But um, the yellow gold, as much as, you know, it's pretty and stuff, for some reason, even though I'm a Leo, I prefer white gold for whatever reason. It's a preference. So I went ahead and I purchased something off of Amazon. It was $19.99, so it wasn't even that expensive in my mind for my budget for the way I would use it, okay? So I looked and I found this guy. Now I have it, it came in this package, right? So I haven't even opened it up yet. I don't know what it looks like. It's from a company called Clad Dag Gold, which I'm probably like butchering the name. It's Clada or Cladoff or Clodag or whatever, I don't know. I am I apologize for butchering the name of your company, but I do have the uh, your website down below. So if you wanna correct me, please feel free to. I am open to constructive criticism. <laughs> constructive. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so this is just a pendant and it came in this box. I was fine. It was in a padded uh, envelope. I'm totally fine with that because it's in a box, so it's protected. So uh, let's open it up so y'all can see what sacred geometry symbol I'm also talking about, right? So yes. Okay, good. So it, com it, it comes in um, a plastic and then there's some of this floofy stuff. So this is it. Oh, where's the camera? Okay, let's take it out so you can see it. It's rather small. Does it have the dimensions on here? I feel like I wanna say it's like an inch and a half each way. Um, it's an inch and a half each way, but you know, it's an amazon.com purchase. Um, it's Terry proof. Oh, it's really cute. I like the way it's cut. I don't know what the name of that cut is. I can't remember, but let's see. But it looks shiny, so it looks like it could have kind of diamonds. Can you see the pattern? I don't know if you can see the pattern. Let's see. That is the flower of life pattern. Maybe if I turn around, yeah, you can see it better this way, the pattern. This is the geometric, the geo sacred geometry pattern. Right now, it does not come with a necklace. That is just the pendant. So the pendant was about 20 bucks. I mean, this looks like your typical silver. I mean, it has, is it stamped? Yeah, it's stamped with the uh, 925. So this is silver. Yeah, it's genuine silver, so they didn't lie about that. Um, it is nice and small. As you can see, it'll fit really nicely, but it does not come with a with a necklace. So you're gonna have to prepare yourself uh, with a silver necklace, which will be an additional purchase. Now, 
because I have a tendency to find things like little things like this, I already pre-purchased some of these. So I have these already lying around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and string this through here. I hate this part, honestly. There we go. And so this is what the necklace looks like, right? Very, very pretty. So now I'm gonna see if I can place it and put it on me and we'll see what the final product looks like. Ugh. I don't know if I can do oh, I did. I totally did it on my own. I did not even need help. Yay me. So you can see that it looks pretty nice. Let's see, bring the camera closer, right? It looks pretty nice. Um, I do wish, even though it's like really pretty, I do wish that at least on the camera, you'd be able to see better the design, the actual geometric design. So that's the only that's probably the only thing that I'm not happy about. Now, granted, it is silver, so I should be able to shower with it, sleep with it, do everything in it and with it. Like, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, I should be just be able to like, it'll probably just like discolor a little, not discolor, but just get dirty a little bit. Um, and I should just be able to clean it with some silver wash, super easy maintenance. But I think the, the thing that I do wish was that it was more, um, it's that it was clearer that it was the flower of life. Like when you look at it up close, you're like, yes, right? Whoa, sorry, you guys, right? But even like, I mean, look how close you have to get to see that it's that sacred geometry symbol. So that's probably the only thing that I'm a little bit frustrated with um, is, is that, but it's not the end of the world. Like for 20 bucks, am I really gonna bitch and complain about that? No, I don't think so. This is, to me, this is worth 20 bucks getting for the way that I want to use it, right? So I'm fine with this. Um, I like this. Um, I'm very excited that now I have a, a, a flower of life symbol on me. It makes me, if there's something, you know, whether it has actual like magical powers or not, you know, that's totally up to you. But I just feel like this is a physical reminder to me. I'm all about, there's so much in my life and in my world that is not physical, that happens to me and that I experience all the time. So it's really nice to have that physical tangibility as a reminder of whatever. Like when I first um, was learning how to manage and balance out my mediumistic skills when like spirits were coming to me all the time, I actually wore a ring, like a physical tangible ring as a discernment for the spirit world to uh, visit me when I wasn't wearing the ring or I would ignore them until I took the ring off and then they would have my attention. So oftentimes there's a lot of us who need a physical tangible reminder, <laughs> you know, of like, you know, of whatever it is. And, and what I like about this is that this, will give me a reminder that when I might be challenged speaking to somebody that, oh my gosh, they are me. They are just a reflection of me right now. And that's what this is. This is like unity, 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 right? Um, the law of one, I am you, you am I, you are I, you am me. <laughs> Y'all get it, right? So um, I'm, I am happy with this purchase for 20 bucks. I think it's uh, pretty good. I'm talking US dollars. Um, yeah, so for me personally, I'm, I'm good with this. Um, if you're looking for better, higher quality, you probably want to spend more money. <laughs> you know, like let's be real. Um, but I do kind of wish that it was just more obvious that it was a sacred geometry symbol. Cause like I'm what, like maybe two feet away from the camera and you can't even tell unless you just get super close, right? You don't need to be that close to me. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I love you, but not that much. All right. 
what am I always saying to you guys? Stay connected. Stay connected to yourself. Stay connected to your family and friends. And of course, you can stay connected to me if you'd like to work with me. There are so many different ways that we can work together. I've got a podcast called The Portal with Terry Huberman. It's up on all the platforms. Just go ahead. You can search that. I'm on Patreon in case you want to feel more of that community feeling where there's live workshops, live energy shifting sessions, and live group readings. So go ahead and check me out at patreon.com forward slash Terry Huberman. If you want a reading, if you want more long-term support, coaching, just whatever you want to connect so that you're thriving in a life of freedom, joy, and security, I can help you out. So check me out at terryhuberman.com and I'll see ya on the flip side.